you know what? This wall, this wall behind me, it needs something. It's so plain right now, but we can fix that. And boom, look at the wall. Got the skimboard, some pictures, and the snowboard. Really happy with how it turned out. Now it's more spacious, or I guess less spacious now. Gonna fill it up with some more stuff at some point, but right now, actually we're going to. Hey, look at that. Someone started my car for me. Sometimes I wish I had sunglasses too. Where are we off to, Mike? Long and McQuad. Why are we going to Long and McQuad? Uh, because a very nice lady called earlier and told us that, uh, or told Noah that the stuff that we rented was overdue. So, I'm gonna go yell at her. We didn't get any warning, and they call us a day after. You know, it's just a load of horse stuff. Who does that? Who calls you the day after and says your stuff's late, you need to return it? Like, <laughs> it makes no sense, but whatever. Thank you. What are we rolling out to? I don't know yet. Return all the equipment, but before we're allowed to leave, we must find a sufficient rollout song. This is a good enough rollout song. Dude, this is Jay Beebs. Let's roll out, Bo! Oh. Hold on. We can't go yet. Okay. No. Now let's roll out, bro! Yeah! Mike and I were coming home from Long and McQuaid when we decided it was a good idea to stop into the, uh, the dollar store, basically. Yeah, pretty much. The but dollar warehouse. We also decided to hang out in the women's clothes area. Oh. So. <laughs> That's awkward. No, it's okay. The men's belts are right belts. there. Belt buckles for five bucks. Bazinga. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah. High five. Thank you. <laughs> what do you want to buy? I want to buy this weird looking double-edged bladed sword thing. I think that's a pretty good buy. Who doesn't want a sword? Or a double-edged katana. No, that's a katana. That's a double-edged sword. That's a katana, that's a double-edged <laughs> sword. Who doesn't want one? I, I don't know. I, I really don't. This thing would even be pretty cool too. A single, a single-edged katana? Look at that. No, a single-edged sword. Nice scorpion design. It's like, I don't even know what to say. But, this one, but like, you want one. I do want a sword. It's been my dream. My life goal is to own a sword. So that's a pretty big life goal. I know, I know. I could, it could all come true today, like right now. Where'd my eyes go, dude? You're missing half a face. <laughs> this is my favorite store. What about the the meatloaf pan? I've actually got plenty of meatloaf pans in my house. So, <laughs> oh, hey there. <laughs> Mike, what kind of investment did you just make? I just purchased a deadly weapon. What kind of deadly weapon are uh, we talking about? We're talking Hella Katana. Oh my! <laughs> That's the face of a proud Katana owner. Dude, once I hold it over your head and like scream. Yes. <laughs> So I think the best part about this vlog is that it's actually been filmed over the course of three different days. The first day I decided I was gonna build the snowboard hook and it took Anna. Oh, hi. So the first day I decided I was gonna build the snowboard rack and I thought I'd make a total video out of it because it seemed awesome. So I started and it took me way too long. And then I thought it was done and I decided, you know what? It's not done until I paint it and so I painted these, but that took another day to paint and dry. Then we come to today where it's all done, 
but I haven't made a total video because I've been in and out of doing stuff and I haven't been able to film it all. So that's where today's video comes from. A point of having a partial video and not and just mushing them together to make something. So instead of me talking about the snowboard thing, let me show you. Quick note, the whole reason I built that snowboard rack was because I looked online for so long for something that could hold my snowboard horizontally. There's a lot of things that can hold it vertically, but my room is small and it doesn't work that way. So I needed it horizontally. There was one thing, but it was like manufactured by like two guys in a garage or something. It wasn't mass produced. So it wasn't easy to get my hands on, but I used their template actually, and I'll link the template down below, and I just made it out of wood because I don't know how to make stuff out of metal, but I had some wood laying around, so that's what I did. So originally I had painted them both all black, but then I had to saw out right here. When I hung it up for the first time, and I was making my bed so I could take a picture and see what it looks like, I actually kind of brushed it with a pillow or something, and the snowboard just came toppling down. And so I really did not want it to fall on my face when I was sleeping or something, obviously, because it would either kill me or I'd have a big line across my face. And everyone would be like, how did you get that? I'd be like, my snowboard fell on my head. It wouldn't be that cool of a story, honestly, and people would probably look at me funny. So with the notches in place, you're able to kind of push it out and it will hold itself. So it's not gonna fall on me, hopefully. Knock on wood. All right guys, just finished dinner, had some Chipotle. It was the best, it was really good. But um, I'm really tired now. I had a long week of school, I had a long day of work. Um, I'm gonna get some rest, I'm gonna actually watch some YouTube and then I'm gonna go to bed after I study. Gonna do that and probably edit a bit of this too. So I still got a bunch of stuff to do, but I have nothing left to say. So I will see you all in another one.